Hi everybody, if you're new here, my name is Zach. I'm a photographer and arts administrator based in Santa Barbara, California. And today we're talking about working with models. So maybe you're a new photographer and you are wondering how to build your portfolio. How do you find people to stand in front of your camera? What, what do we do? So I recorded this video this morning in the studio with the Zoom H4n Pro, but the one thing that I neglected to do was put the recorder on a stand or have a pop filter on it. So there's a lot of weird audio sounds as I like wave the thing around. Thank you for bearing with me for any strange audio sounds. Um, and I hope you enjoy the video. It's often really intimidating to reach out to models online, um, especially if you're someone like me, I'm actually a very reserved person and I get really quiet when I'm around people who uh, I admire who I look up to, who I'm intimidated by. I just sort of get this thing where I, I can't talk, like I'm very inward and I become such an introvert when I'm around people that make me a little bit nervous. So I understand how the idea of reaching out to people online who you look up to, who you admire, who you wanna work with can be really difficult and can maybe give you some anxiety. I get that. And I definitely went through that at the beginning of my journey as well. But let's talk about how to combat that. If you look at my portfolio, you'll see a lot of my work features models that I have met and worked with over the past several years. But who are these people? Like, what do we mean when we say models? Well, for the purposes of this video, I'm pretty much talking about anyone who has agreed to stand in front of your camera, whether they're professional models who are being paid or models who are up and coming, looking to build their portfolio or just your friends. So let's start at the beginning, building a portfolio. This is something I've talked about before on the channel. Just like building a portfolio allows us to establish trust with potential clients, it also allows us to establish trust between potential collaborators. So having a portfolio is really important in finding people that you want to work with and people who want to work with you. Remember, this is a mutually beneficial relationship for the most part when you're working with models. You want to find people who resonate with your work and want to work with you. But how do you do that if you don't have a portfolio right off the bat? I built my portfolio by taking photos of my friends. And when I started photography, I was enrolled in a music program at university. So I was surrounded by fellow singers and actors who always are in need of headshots, who are in need of photos. So for them, it's really enticing. You say free photos, they say I'm there. So if you're at university or you live near university, I would encourage you to check in with the theater department, with the music department. There are probably students there who would be interested in sitting in for some photos. And chances are, since they're performers, they'll be great in front of the camera. So likely it'll be a win-win situation. But honestly, you could just start building your portfolio by taking photos of your friends and eventually you'll get to friends of friends. You'll find yourself eventually ready to start reaching out to potential collaborators online. So how do we do this? Well, usually the tool I would use is Instagram or email, probably most commonly Instagram. Instagram is a great way of discovering people in your area. And since there's a message feature right in Instagram, it's a great way of communicating. So what you can do is go to the search bar in Instagram and search for Santa Barbara models, for example. I'm here in Santa Barbara. I look for hashtag SB model or Santa Barbara model. Another great way of doing this is by finding local photographers in your area and looking through their page because chances are that they will feature local models and you can scroll through their page, find people who you are interested in go to their page, take a look at their work, and if you resonate with their work, send them a message. So what do we say when we message people? I know it's always this thing of, oh, how do I reach out to people? Typically my message is, hi there, my name is Zach. I'm a photographer based in Santa Barbara. I found your work on Instagram. I'm a big fan of your work. Would love to shoot together at some point if you're interested. That's pretty much it, keep it plain and simple and see if I get a response. 
So after you start building your portfolio, it'll be easier for you to find models who are interested in working with you because they can take a look at your work and decide for themselves whether or not a collaboration will make sense. Just like at the beginning of our careers as photographers, we take on free work in order to build our portfolio, there are models out there who are willing to take on free work in order to build their portfolio. And this type of mutually beneficial collaboration is often referred to as TFP or time for print, which basically means that photographers and models are exchanging time, coming together to collaborate on a project so that they both end up with photographs, right? And it's a really great way of working together. And what we have to remember when we're thinking about this is that it is a collaboration. So it's not really one sided. Um, it should be something that is mutually beneficial. So after we reach out to someone on Instagram, it's time to wait and see how they respond, right? If they're interested and sometimes they won't be and that's okay. But what you have to remember is to be kind and open and honest in your messaging and really focus on creating an atmosphere of mutually beneficial collaboration because we want to be creating work that can build both of our portfolios when we're working together as a collaboration. After somebody responds and they say, yeah, I'd love to work with you, um, let's do it, right? So the next step is finding a time to work together and creating a plan for the photo shoot. I use Milanote to create mood boards and to prep for all of my creative shoots with models. I love Milanote because you can add images into a beautiful mood board, but also you can create different buttons for links, for text. So I often will include the address of the location, the time of the photo shoot, my ideas behind the color palette and the vibe of the shoot. And then you can also paste links to other photographers' websites for further inspiration for the photo shoot. So I think Milanote is a really great tool for planning. And I think it's really important that you have a plan and talk about it in advance. I also really encourage the model that I'm working with to give me their ideas about what they want to see in their portfolio, because I'm very interested in thinking about things from their perspective. I don't want it to be just one sided, just coming from me. And then once you're on a shoot with somebody, it's easy to be intimidated. But what I will stress is just try things, experiment. Don't be afraid to take time to think about what you're gonna do. If you need a minute to think about the photo you wanna make, give yourselves a minute. Don't be embarrassed to go back to the mood board you created. Do whatever you need to do to create a comfortable atmosphere for yourself and create a comfortable working environment for the two of you. One thing I've honestly loved most about these collaborations with people I found on Instagram is just the experience of meeting new people and making friends. There are some people I've met through Instagram that I've stayed friends with over the past several years and done multiple shoots with. And that's really amazing that Instagram can become this tool to build those relationships. And that honestly is the best part of Instagram is the potential to build these lasting collaborations. But this only happens through being open, being honest, creating the space to be collaborative, to create mutually beneficial work. If you are creating an important project, I think it's worth it to allocate a budget for professional modeling because it'll just elevate the project to the level that you want it to be at. So it's definitely worth it to carve out the funds to compensate a professional model for work that is really important, that really needs it. Now, sometimes you as a photographer, as you start to build your portfolio and get more of a following, get more interest in your work, sometimes people will reach out to you and ask you, if you wanna shoot with them. And I think it's really important in these situations to decide for yourself, do I have space for this? Can I fit this into my work, to my schedule? Oftentimes when models have reached out to me to ask me to work with them, I'll think about creative personal work that I've been interested in creating and see if I can create it with that person. And I've actually created some work that I really like through other people reaching out to me. But sometimes people will reach out to you just wanting free photos. It's okay to say no. Don't feel obligated to shoot with everybody just because they ask you. You will get asked a lot to shoot for free. 
and I think it's really important that you protect yourself as a photographer, you protect your work um, and don't just give away free work. Remember, if we're shooting for free, we have to be gaining something from it. Okay, whether it's going to enhance your portfolio, build your portfolio, if it's going to create future opportunities for you. Think about these things when people reach out to you before you immediately say yes. And remember, it's okay to, to say no. And oftentimes when I say no, my message will just be, hi, thanks so much for reaching out. I'm not scheduling any collaborations at the moment, but if you wanna take a look at my rates, here they are and send my rates. So let's do a bit of a recap. Working with models can be intimidating, but it's also crucial to helping you build your portfolio and create personal work. There are various types of collaborations. A lot of them when we're first starting will be uh, time for print, TFP, which is a mutually beneficial collaboration between photographer and model. When we reach out to models, when we find models, when we communicate, when we plan the shoots, we should always keep in the back of our minds that these kinds of shoots are mutually beneficial. So both photographer and model should have a say in the planning of the shoot so that the final images benefit both of you. This should always be um, on your mind as a photographer. It's often worth it to create the funds to hire a professional model because it will elevate your project. So I hope that this video has helped you if you are at the beginning stages of your, your photography, if you're curious about reaching out to models and working with people. Um, let me know if you have questions in the comments. I'm sure there are things I missed and I'm happy to help. If you have questions, please just ask me. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I'd love to see you at the next video. Thank you, thank you as always for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Love is